think you know Canvas? Think again. Here are five hacks that will save you time and make Canvas more efficient. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to share with you five hacks within Canvas that will save you the teacher time. Before we get into the five hacks, I'd greatly appreciate if you would like this video, subscribe, stick around for a while, and of course, share this video with a friend because these five hacks are great for any educator using Canvas. All right, let's get into hack number one. The first hack in Canvas is the undelete feature. This is a secret way you, the educator, can recover deleted pages, assignments, or discussions within Canvas. To restore items that you accidentally deleted in Canvas, all you're going to do is come up to your URL of the course. And at the very end of that URL, you're going to type in backslash undelete. And when you click that, you'll see here are some things that I recently accidentally deleted. So we're going to restore all of these items. When I go back to my home page here, I don't have the assignment two in this module, but if I go to assignments now, assignment two is there. And so I can add it so I can select it and then add it back into my module. Those files that I accidentally deleted are now back in my Canvas course files. So just because you delete something does not mean it is gone forever. You can retrieve it. This is so helpful overall because it saves you from having to to recreate something you accidentally deleted. Hack number two is the message students who feature. This is within the grade book and it allows you to easily message students who have not submitted, let's say an assignment or have not completed a quiz on time. It gives you the power to message only those students who are missing that work. I'm in my grade book and I'm gonna message students who have not submitted this assignment yet. So all I have to do is come up to the assignment, click on the three dots in the title, and then go to message students who. From here, now I have compose a message. So I can see I have some options. So this is for students who have not submitted. So that's how I'm gonna leave it. But you also have, maybe they have submitted, they have not been graded yet, scored more than, scored less than, or for maybe students you reassigned this to. So you do have options, which is really, really great here. You can check off this box of skip excuse students. You can also click on show all recipients. So you can see all of the students who are included in this message. And you can choose to manually exclude them if you don't want them a part of this message. So then you will type in your message. You can also attach a file if you'd like. You can also record a video right within Canvas, which is great. And so the last Last piece is to just click the send button. And now this message has successfully sent to those students who have not submitted this student annotation assignment yet. This is such a helpful hack because it saves you time on having to email each student independently about something they're missing within Canvas. The third hack within Canvas is the bulk editing assignments for due dates. Whew. Okay, so what does this do? Essentially, it gives you a place where you can view all of your assignments, all of your quizzes in one place. You can adjust all the due dates at once instead of one at a time updating each assignment individually. So less clicks for those of you who hate how many clicks you have to click within Canvas. To edit assignment due dates in bulk you are going to go to the assignment section in your Canvas course, select the three dots here, and click edit assignment dates. From here, every single assignment in this course is going to populate. My course, my example course, unfortunately does not have any due dates. You will see dates if they are assigned. So here's the title, read about it waves. When is this going to be due? We're going to make it the end of this week, and then we'll make it available from today to the end of this week. And then I can just move Move on to the next assignment. So here's watch it waves. I can again add a due date here and then make it available from until whatever dates I need. They can all go in here without having to open each individual assignment or quiz. This just makes it super simple. But all I have to do once I'm done altering all my due dates in bulk is click over and select save and I'm done. This saves you a lot of time when you need to adjust multiple assignments or let's say the pacing 
of your course for a certain project or something like that changes. The fourth hack within Canvas is the speed grader keyboard shortcuts. These keyboard shortcuts allow you to grade so much faster. I hate having to move around all over the speed grader, click next and click on the rubric and the student, all the, all those clicks, less clicks, just select these keyboard options. To find the keyboard shortcuts within your speed grader, you can actually select the little settings gear icon and then go to shortcuts. So you'll see here, J is for next student, K is for previous student, C is leave a comment, G change grades, and R use the rubric. So let's try these out. Here's the student so I'm going to select J. So now we have student two, J again, student three, and then K, student two, K, student one. So there you go. There's those keyboard shortcuts. Then let's say I don't want to click in this box. I just want to enter in a grade. I'm just going to select G. And so now my cursor appears and I can just type it in right away. Now I want to open the rubric without having to click it every single time. We can just hit the R button and it'll actually collapse. So R to open. The one that I noticed has not worked is C to add a comment. And I think that is because they recently updated the assignment comments to have more of the RCE menu options in here. So C is the only one that I have noticed doesn't work anymore, but that's okay. You still have those other ones, those other four that are really, really awesome. This is extremely helpful for you, the educator, because you can grade a lot faster within Canvas. The fifth and final hack that I have for you is related to announcements. You can actually schedule an announcement to post at a later date. I used to use this all the time, especially when I got sick. I would write my little announcement the night before and then have it post the following morning to students on what their agenda was. Click on announcement section within your Canvas course, navigate over to add an announcement. So in here, we're just going to add, I'm just going to do test announcement as the title and then we'll just write again test announcement in the body you have to have a title and you have to have information within the body the other options you have to attach a file or to post this announcement to a certain section so if you have multiple sections in your canvas course it doesn't have to be to the entire class it could be to just one section the other options you can allow the participants to comment you can enable a podcasting feed and then the other one is allow liking i'm gonna add this one it's kind of fun it makes it a little more engaging now here at the bottom this is where we're going to add our date in order to delay the announcement posting so normally if I just clicked the publish button it would automatically send this announcement to all my students but I don't want that to happen so all I have to do is select the date we'll just choose Wednesday and then the time we don't want it to be at midnight nobody will look at it we want it at the beginning of class so let's do 8 30 a.m. so now I just click save and then my announcement will appear right here for my test announcement and then at the very top it'll tell me when it is available. You'll notice I didn't put an until date and that's just because I want my students to be able to access this whenever but if you want to add an until date meaning they can't see this announcement anymore that's completely up to you. This is super helpful in saving you time because you're essentially automating communication and you're ensuring that students are going to be seeing those announcements in a timely manner without you having to manage Annually go back in and post them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed me sharing my five canvas hacks with you. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite hack was. And if there are other hacks, feel free to share them as well in the comments below. All right, you guys. Well, that's all the canvas tips I have for you today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.